Welcome to the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of the new Nolan N103 flip-up motorcycle helmet. Please visit webbikeworld.com for the complete review and detailed photos of this helmet and many more. By the way, this marks our 100th helmet review, and we'd like to thank all of our loyal visitors over the past 8 plus years whose support has helped make this all possible. Nolan flip-up helmets have been very popular with touring riders and others, and the N103 is the latest iteration of the type. This one has many features and feels like it's put together better than other Nolan helmets we've tried, but like most flip-up helmets, the N103 is very heavy. This size XL weighs 1,891 grams, or 4 pounds 2 and 5 eighths ounces, making it the second heaviest helmet of the 100 helmets we've reviewed. Fortunately, it balances okay on the head, unlike some other flip-ups that feel like they're sitting way too high, but the mass can certainly be felt. The N103 is available with the Nolan NCOM intercom system, but this is the N103 Classic. It doesn't come with the system, but it has a provision for it on the side. The NCOM system can be transferred from one Nolan helmet to another. There's a port on the bottom of the helmet also for the microphone wiring. The N103's finish is very nicely done, and Nolan is now using some type of new coating over the paint. It feels very slick and hard, almost like a micro-thin coating of plexiglass or something. The helmet has several gaskets which fit under the flip up and around the visor and they help keep it relatively quiet. The visor uses a rather complicated lifting mechanism that probably accounts for some of the weight. It has a tab in the center of the visor. Flip it up and a rotating gear actually rotates the visor. It has one position at the bottom to crack it open for defogging, then a section with no detents, then one detent to hold the visor fully open. The problem is that the visor detent is very weak at the bottom so there's not much friction holding it closed. The visor doesn't snap shut, so it's unclear whether this will cause a problem later on. The flip-up visor locks securely with metal hooks and latches. It requires two fingers to open. Pull out the bottom red lever and the top one pops out, then squeeze the two together and pull open the visor. Notice the helmet uses many parts in the rotating mechanism, which probably also add weight. The slider on the side opens the internal sunshade this is the first sunshade we found that actually comes down far enough to remain mostly out of the rider's line of sight. It's not as dark as it could be though, with about 50% light transmission. I still have to wear a pair of sunglasses underneath to get the darker tint that I want. The helmet closes tight, but it is kind of creaky as most flip-up helmets can be, and it does have more lateral flexibility than we'd like to see. The N103 has a fairly neutral shape inside, but the sides press into round-shaped heads, which can be uncomfortable. The chin vent directs some air up onto the rider's face, but the top vents are very tiny and they don't seem to do much. Most of the ventilation seems to come from under the helmet. The face gets ventilated, but the top and back of the helmet can get hot. The rear exhaust vents seem to be just for show. We can't tell if they're actually functional. So that's the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of the Nolan N103 flip-up helmet. Be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for the detailed review and more photos of this helmet and for many more motorcycle product reviews and information. Thanks for watching.